Hi and welcome to the Canada Credit Card Expert channel. Today is all about credit cards and cell phones. So it is mobile device insurance. We are going to actually share all the information regarding the various credit cards who actually have this great perk as well as various aspects of the insurance itself. But just before that, Canada Credit Card Expert channel is all about indeed credit cards. You are more than welcome to subscribe to our channel right at the bottom. And if you do actually like the video, you definitely know what to do. So without further ado, let's start. Well, a few general things about mobile device insurance and credit cards. Well, firstly, read the certificate. That is extremely important, obviously. Secondly, there are limitations to the amount of claims you can actually uh, have in a cycle of 48 eight month that is four years so don't actually count on having a claim every month normally we are talking about once a year but that changes slightly read the certificate thirdly the type of occurrences that the insurance will actually cover would be accidental damage or if your device is either lost or stolen fourthly insurance will actually work up to the 24 month that is two years from the day you actually purchase the device so again there are limitations to that and we are going to actually cover momentarily when does it actually start it does actually change the starting point does change from one credit card to the other the end point is always two years and finally your credit card would actually qualify if you used it to pay the whole amount for the device in the event you actually purchase the device outrightly alternatively if you use the card to actually have it as a payment method for your plan with a Canadian provider so that means you do have to have these things actually as part of the minimum requirements to use your insurance now one more note before we actually cover the credit cards themselves there are deductibles applicable to this insurance and there are two types of deductibles some of the credit cards we would use what we call the 10 percent deductible which is essentially a deductible that will come on top of the depreciation value of your cell phone and we are going to actually give you an example in just a second and then there is a different type of deductible which is a fixed amount so how does a fixed amount actually work well it's very simple it depends on how much you actually paid for the phone so anything over 600 would actually mean a hundred dollars deductible and you can see the table on the screen right now so let's actually have just an example so we understand how it actually works. Let's assume that you actually use 2% as depreciation rate per month, which is pretty much the case in all credit cards with the exception of one. So let's just say you have an issue with your mobile device. It's lost or stolen maybe, and uh, you are having a claim six months after purchase. So we will calculate it in the following way. So as you see on the screen, let's say you bought it for $800 before taxes, then six times 2% depreciation. That means 12% off your phone by virtue of depreciation. That would take your phone down to $704 before deductible. Now, if the credit card would actually use the fixed amount deductible, it would take $100 off because you purchased a phone for more than $600. So the reimbursement amount from the insurance would actually work out to be $604. However, in, in the event that your credit card uses the 10% deductible method, now we're talking about 10% off 704. So it's 704 minus $70.40 and you get a slightly different result. So let's actually move into the credit cards themselves. Well, firstly, there are three no annual fee credit cards in Canada that will actually give you mobile device insurance. It's a great perk with the no annual fee and we will actually show them right now in order of how we think it would actually work best for you which means we definitely believe the tangerine world mastercard is the best no annual fee credit card in canada when it comes to mobile device insurance then we have my credit by national bank and finally we have the brim mastercard no annual fee version also with mobile device insurance so what is the difference well firstly the starting point for the insurance well with tangerine it's actually 30 days after you purchased the device with national bank my credit 60 days and with brim mastercard no annual fee 90 days secondly the coverage amount for the tangerine world mastercard is one thousand dollars maximum for my credit it will actually be one thousand as well finally the brim mastercard no annual fee would actually give you five hundred dollars 
it's another great advantage of the Tangerine World Mastercard. Next, the depreciation rate per month would actually be 2% for the Brim and Tangerine cards, while National Bank would actually work out to be 3% per month depreciation rate. And again, we must say this is the only credit card out of the bunch of them that will have 3% per month. All the other cards would have 2% depreciation rate. Finally, the Tangerine card would actually use the fixed amount for the deductible, the same way my credit by National Bank. However, Brim MasterCard uses a 10% deductible as we explained earlier. So these are the three no annual fee. Again, the Tangerine world is definitely the better option when it comes to mobile device insurance. Now, what about other credit cards that do have annual fees? Let's just have um, two rounds of them. Let's just start with the Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite card. It's $120 annual fee and it does have a pretty good mobile device insurance and we can definitely compare it with Again, Brim and the Brim MasterCard World and the World Elite versions, one for $99, the other one for $199 annually. Uh, that would actually have also mobile device insurance. The Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite, you would have actually the insurance kicking in 30 days after purchase. And again, Brim would actually have the same insurance kicking in after 90 days. What about the coverage? Well, for these three cards, we are talking about $1,000 max coverage. So Bream has a slightly better coverage for these paid for uh, credit cards. And as we mentioned, the depreciation rate would actually work out to be 2%. Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite uses the fixed amount deductible, while at the same time Bream uses the 10% percent deductible. So let's move on. We have one more range of credit cards for you and that is the better credit cards when it comes to coverage. Let's actually start with the RBC Trio. It's namely the, the Avion Visa Infinite, the Avion Visa Infinite Privilege and Visa Infinite Private Banking. The three credit cards will actually give you coverage of up to $1,500, 2% depreciation rate per month and deductible of 10%. The one thing that does actually change is the starting point. If you do have the RBC Visa Infinite, it would actually start 91 days after purchase. Now, ironically, for the better cards, the higher category cards, the private banking, infinite privilege, as well as the Visa Infinite Privilege Avion, it would actually start 121 days after purchase. So that is a slight difference. And again, the cards you pay more for uh, annual fees, you would have to wait one month more to get the insurance kicking in. So that is the RBC $1,500 coverage by far the best in Canada. And we are going to mention one more credit card now when it comes to coverage. And by the way, there is no credit card in Canada with the higher coverage than $1,500. So we said there is one more card. Yes, we do have the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite Privilege card, and that would also go for $1,500. And 91 days after you purchase the phone. So that means 91 days you are already insured, 1500 maximum coverage, 2% appreciation and 10% deductible. So CIBC, RBC and BRIM all use a 10% deductible method. One last word, the CIBC Visa Infinite Aventura. Well, unlike the Visa Infinite Privilege Aventura, this card would have exactly the same, the same type of insurance with one exception. The maximum coverage for the Visa Infinite would work out to be $1,000 instead of $1,500 for the Visa Infinite Privilege Aventura. Now you have it. The whole thing about credit cards and cell phones in Canada. You're more than welcome to like us at the bottom, subscribe, and you do have the bell right on the right hand side. We will actually see you soon.